Z sub alpha notation, an easy explanation. College students seem to hate Z sub alpha notation probably even more than summation notation. I'll do my best to try to explain the subject to you. First of all, let me define what Z sub alpha actually means. So this is a Greek letter alpha. It looks a little bit like a two, but it's not a two, it's an alpha. And we read this symbol, Z sub alpha. And just to remind you, Z is a reserved letter in statistics, which means the standard normal distribution, which is a normal distribution with a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. So Z sub alpha is the Z score such that alpha times 100% of the population is to the right of Z sub alpha. And so here's a little picture that I drew for you. And let's look at a little example. So if we have a standard normal distribution, which is symbolized by Z, and we have a Z-score that has 2.5% of the area under this standard normal and it's called a PDF, a probability density function. Some professors just call it the normal curve, but there are different normal curves. So this is called a PDF, if you want to be accurate, because there's also a CDF, which you probably will need to know also. But in any case, this bell-shaped curve happens to be called a probability density function. And if we have 2.5% of the area to the right of a z-score, we call this Z sub 0.025. Now the relationship between the 2.5% and the 0.025 is simply that if we convert a decimal to a percentage, we do it by multiplying by 100, which is equivalent to moving the decimal point two places to the right. So knowing that, that's why we have 2.5% of the area to the right. So here's something that confuses a lot of students because in stats classes, we, we speak about a lot of things like critical values and percentiles and z-scores and z-sub-alphas. So the next question I just want to roll by everybody is what percentile, percentile would z-sub 0.025 be? And so in order to answer that, you have to realize that if 2.5% of the area is to the right, then there has to be 100% minus 2.5% area to the left. And if you do 100 minus 2.5, you get 97.5%. So this area over here, to the left of this z-score, shaded in light blue, is 97.5% of the area. So that means that this z-score is actually the 97.5th percentile. So that's the idea here. Um, now, I want to just give you a little remark that I know confuses students all the time, particularly on exams, so I'm going to try to help you with this, with this video here. So, Z sub alpha values are often called critical values, but there's a little problem with this. There are actually three types of critical values in a STATS-1 class. We have left-sided tests, or left-tailed tests, which have left-tailed critical values. We have right-sided tests, also called right-tailed tests, which have right-tailed critical values. And we also have two-tailed tests, which means we have two-tailed critical values. And the problem is that different textbooks use different books. And so your tutor might tell you one thing, your professor might tell you something else, the Math Learning Center at your college might tell you something else. 
And that's, this is where this confusion kind of comes by. The best notation to not be confused is using this Z sub alpha notation. It's actually the best, but not everybody uses it. They try to simplify things, but sometimes they make it more complicated for their students by trying to make it simple. Let's do one last example, and then I'll close this video. So suppose we want to determine Z sub 0 0.05. Let's draw a little picture of it first. So here, we, now if you convert 0 0.05 into a percentage, we multiply by 100, which is equivalent to moving the decimal point two places to the right. So this is exactly 5%. So we have 5% of the area to the right of the z-score. But we have 100% minus 5% of the area to the left of the z-score. Which, of course, is 95%. So to the left of the z-score, we have 95% of the area. That makes this the 95th percentile. Now, you're going to need to look this up. Now, everyone has different textbooks with different, <laughs> different tables, and that's a little bit of a problem. But I'm going to show you in my book, I have a little table, which I want to show you. So here, this is a kind of typical um, Z sub alpha table. And if you look, 0 0.05, that's the alpha. The z-score that corresponds to this is 1.645. So let me write that down. 1.645. So what does that tell you? This tells you two things. This tells you that the 95th percentile, that's a short way to write percentile, percent symbol with tile. The 95th percentile of the Z distribution, also known as the standard normal distribution, is 1.645. And it also tells you that Z sub 0 0.05, that's how you'd read this symbol, is equal to 1.645. So some professors will use books that give you percentiles some professors will give you books where you can actually get the z-score. And there are some professors who give you books where the tables are a little more complicated. And that's a separate video, um, which could take a little bit of time. If you want that video, uh, shoot me a, a comment saying, I would love that video, and I'll make it for you. A thumbs up would encourage me to make more videos like these, and a comment would be amazing.